it's been discovered that the lethal drug fentanyl has been disguised as children's candy. Holy cow, folks, do you really think that fentanyl is being given out as Halloween candy to trick-or-treaters for free? How this issue is being handled seems a lot like propaganda to me. Well, it's that time of year again, Halloween, which means another Halloween candy drug scare. Absolutely. He wants to rip from the headline. People can relate to that and say, hey, look, it looks like sweet tarts, looks like Skittles. It, it looks like nerds. If you really cared, yep. you would actually be saying China to cartel, cross the border into your bedroom, into your living room, into your dorm room. That's what he would say if he really cared. This is not hard. Clearly, there's a lot to unpack here, and there's a lot of different angles that are being taken. But what I want to start with is the overreaching message that I hope comes across in this video. No one is giving away drugs to your kids for free. But before I get into that, we do need to address the fact that there is a fentanyl problem in the U.S. right now. That is something that should be taken seriously, and there should be a solution in the works for that. But unfortunately, that story has been hijacked by a lot of conservative media in order to push this uh, drugs and your kids Halloween candy story, which is kind of not real. No matter how you feel about people who buy or use drugs or how you feel about the war on drugs, fentanyl-laced drugs are a real problem in this country and they do cause poisonings and overdoses. That is something that the conservative media is getting correct. Fair is fair. But they're not showing up in your kid's candy and instead of focusing on a solution for overdoses happening to people from fentanyl drugs, they're focusing on something that doesn't exist. Not to mention that Children young enough to be trick-or-treating would probably not be a very reliable customer base. I can't really see the cartel or anyone who sells drugs going after children. If there's one thing they're good at, it's making money from selling drugs. So why would they go after children who don't have money, who, if they're getting the drugs out of their Halloween bag on accident, they don't know what they're taking, they don't know where it came from or how to get more. It just doesn't make any sense. But that's not even the angle that Fox News is taking. What also I think is noteworthy is they're not looking to get an addict. They're not looking to get a long-term customer. They're looking to kill. kill. This angle also doesn't make any sense. Who's going after the children? Who is out here spending their own money to make fentanyl to give away to thousands, if not millions of children for free just so that the children die? Nothing adds up. It's just a big boogeyman, and every year they're looking for a new boogeyman to distract you from any real problems that might be happening in your life. But that's not the only angle. They're claiming that multiple sources are responsible for this fentanyl drug spike in America. Anyone south of the border, the cartel, and specifically they're looking at China. But the president's compromised by the country that's declared this drug war on us. He could launch a cyber attack on the Chinese. That's what I would do. If they're going to declare a drug war in America, I'd launch a cyber attack because that's how serious it is. Listen, every year they make a boogeyman out of Halloween in the form of Halloween candy, and they can hit multiple targets at once. They get to hit on countries they don't like. They get to bring up the war on drugs. And Halloween is not a Christian holiday. It's a really convenient way to hit multiple targets. Listen, use common sense, do your research, and think for yourself. No one's giving away drugs for free to your kids. Focus on the things that matter. Don't listen to every fear-mongering thing you hear. Thank you for listening. If you want to hear more from me, you can find me on Instagram at Miranda.Scholl. If you got something out of this video, please like and subscribe. It helps spread the message, and I'll see you next time.